Hello, this is Kent Cooper. Today we're going to talk about kinetic energy in archery. Uh, what I've done is taken three arrows of identical diameter, identical length, and identical weight, and I've added a different weight field tip to each one. Um, so there's three separate weights that we'll be using um, to determine different masses for different kinetic energy. So what we'll do is take each carbon fiber arrow and shoot it three times to get an average speed through the chronograph. In the US, typically archery speed is measured in feet per second, but due to the fact that we're converting everything to metric, we will measure it in metric today, meters per second. Our heaviest arrow has a 30.1 gram total arrow weight. Our second heaviest is 28.7 grams, and the lightest is 26.8 grams. So what we do is we take the muscular energy from pulling the bow back, which turns into potential energy when the string is fully back. And then once um, the release is triggered here, like this, then the string will fly forward the length of the arrow, which I have a 31 inch draw length. So we'll go forward 31 inches before leaving the string and taking off towards its target. We'll also see too, once that kinetic energy hits the target, friction is created and the arrow will come to a stop. Um, sometimes the friction is so great that it creates a thermal energy in which the rubber target will actually melt to the arrows and then we have to clean the arrows off a little bit too. But um, yeah, let's uh, see what we have to, to do this project today. The arrow will be seated on this drop away rest that as soon as the string starts to come forward upon launching, the rest will drop away so that there is no friction against the arrow. The carbon fiber arrow is within one thousandth of an inch in straightness. It is equipped with three fletchings and I have also installed a Luminoc light for the knocking point against the string that upon launching will light up to see the flight path better. Now let's shoot some arrows and collect some data. As hunters and conservationists, we owe it to nature to produce a quick and ethical harvest. Having the greatest kinetic energy can help us to achieve that. Understanding the physics behind the arrow and the energy that it produces could be the difference between penetrating the animal or the arrow bouncing off its hide. Newton's second law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Pulling the string back creates and conserves potential energy on the bow, while releasing the string creates the kinetic energy although it may not be exactly equal due to the dynamic conditions of the bow, such as string vibration, limb inertia, and arrow stiffness. Thank you for watching.